remind you that extremism in the defense of liberty is no vice. genius Travis Cook back with you once again and I wanted to take just a couple of minutes here to do a brief bit of housekeeping uh, those of you who follow me on social media on things like Facebook and Twitter and so forth you may recall a couple of weeks ago my mentioning that we were going to tape an episode of this show in which liberal radio talk show host Mark Bland would come in here and we would discuss and debate the State of the Union address that Barack Obama did a couple of weeks ago and you may be wondering why you have not seen that show. Did we forget about it? Did it not get done? What happened? I wanted to address that real briefly. Uh, first of all, any of you who are longtime viewers of this show, uh, who may have seen Mark Bland on here before, or any of you who have heard me go on his radio show in the past, you are no doubt aware that for whatever reason, whenever Mark Bland and I are on the same show, in the same room, however you want to phrase it, it's a combustible situation. It, it is what it is. Yes, there is a definite difference in how we view politics. There's no question about that. But e even more than that, for whatever reason, it's just two totally different personalities that just clash. I can't explain it. I can't put it into words. It is what it is. There's just certain people in this world that get along like oil and water. And, and it seems like Mark Bland and myself are a couple of those people. It's a combustible situation whenever we're on the same show. That being said, the fact that there is such a personality difference often does make for interesting radio or interesting viewing when I'm on his show or when he's on here, so there is a certain degree of value in that. It's, it can lead to very good discussion, it can lead to very interesting discussion, even very entertaining discussion. So, you know, we, we both at times will kind of bite the bullet and go on each other's show because we know there's some value in it. So it was with that in mind that we did actually tape a show with Mark Bland where he and I discussed the State of the Union Address. And uh, when I say it was a combustible situation, uh, that, that's putting it lightly. Uh, I'll just be honest with you. This turned into an absolute screaming match and little more than that. Uh, we taped about an hour and 15 minutes, an hour and 20 minutes of footage, far more than we ordinarily tape for these shows. And most of it was just absolute screaming and yelling and cussing over the top of each other. Uh, definitely not the kind of show that we normally do here. Uh, I'll admit I lost my temper. You know, there's a lot of cases on, on that show where uh, Mark tried to kind of overtake this show and, and would not allow me to answer questions from him on my own show. He would ask me a question, I would give three words of an answer, and he'd try to cut me off. Now far from being just an ordinary complaint you've got to understand that that's kind of the mark bland way on his show he does that very often and, and i've you know that's fine it's his show over there he can do what he wants he's cut my mic off on his show before and that kind of thing and that's fine he's got the home field advantage over there he can do what he wants but this is my show here and i am not going to be put in a situation where i am prohibited from answering a question completely on my own show and so it degenerated from there there were times where I literally had to grab the microphone away from him and keep him from speaking so that I could complete an answer. Uh, and yes, I'll admit that by the end of the thing, he, he, would, not, he would not take the hint. He would not, uh, he would not uh, acquiesce to the warnings. And yes, at the end of it, I did have to throw him off the show. Don't like that. Don't like having to do that. But uh, if you're not going to stick with the format here and you're not going to uh, undertake a, a calm and rational discussion like we like to have here, that, that's going to happen. Uh, hate that it ha went that way, hate that it got that cantankerous and out of control, but what happened happened. It is what it is. And for all of the uh, yelling and screaming and talking over each other and chair throwing, and that's not hyperbole, by the way, a, a chair was actually thrown during that show, uh, for all of that, there were some isolated nuggets of good discussion. Uh, there was a couple of times where we hit on a couple of issues that really nobody's talking about at all in the media. Uh, at one point, a discussion came up about the minimum wage and, and should we raise that? And, and I brought up the point of, hey, should we go the opposite way and repeal the minimum wage outright? And that's a topic you're not going to hear in any show, conservative, liberal, or anything else. There is a discussion at one point about should wages increase at the same rate as profit? 
something that the president seemed to take for granted in his own State of the Union address, and I made the point that no, they shouldn't. There's many other factors here. So for all of the chaos that that show was, and for as difficult as it would be to sit through the whole hour and a half of what is essentially a loud screaming match, there were some isolated nuggets of really good rational discussions. So what we are trying to do is we are going through all of this footage, again, more footage taped for this show than we've ever taped for any of our shows in the past, going through this show and trying to pick out what is actually usable and what we can actually put out there. I know that you guys don't want to sit through two guys yelling over the top of each other for an hour and a half. I know you don't want that. And I don't want to give you that kind of show uh, that looks just like a hack job, but I do want to give you the good discussion that was there in the show. So we are going through that footage and seeing what we can salvage of it and piecing it together. And hopefully by this Sunday or Monday, we'll have a completed product for you. It, it might be a two-part show. It might be a one-part show. I, I'm just not real sure yet what we can piece together of it. To be honest with you, I'm not really sure what you're going to think about this show. It's different than any show we've done here before. I'm not really sure what I think about this show, but what happened happened. The powder keg was lit, if you want to say that, and the footage is in the can. So let's go ahead and piece it together and see what you think of it. It might end up being one of the most intriguing shows we've ever done, or it might be the biggest train wreck of a show we've ever done, or heck, it might be some combination of the two. I'll let you guys decide that, but be looking forward to it. Uh, around Sunday or Monday, the soon-to-be-infamous Mark Bland episode of America's Evil Genius. Keep an eye out for it. And until next time, this is America's Evil Genius, Travis Cook. We will see you down the road.